Hi, my, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Eric Hill from uh, Texas Back Institute. And so I have the, uh, the task of, of describing, you know, the, the general question, which is, you know, as a spine surgeon, uh, are you capable of being able to do telemedicine or as surgeons, um, should we be in the business of uh, doing telemedicine? And, and, you know, clearly this is one of those instances where COVID had helped initiate and transform um, things that were already starting to be in place and changing and evolving within spine surgery. And, uh, and if anything, it was the, uh, the catalyst uh, for this tremendous growth in, in telemedicine, uh, not only in spine, but in, in all aspects of uh, medicine. But the, the answer is unequivocally, yes, uh, a spine surgeon can provide telemedicine. And, and clearly, um, we are good at doing that role, partly because, um, especially with the options of being able to get a good clinical history uh, from the patient, uh, we are able oftentimes to merge uh, imaging that may have been already um, received uh, for the patient uh, in the diagnostic pathway. So oftentimes uh, we can look at uh, a image and share the screen uh, using our platforms um, that where we can essentially do the same aspects that we would in a, a regular room. And the benefit is that because we do have the breadth of understanding of all of the ramifications and the treatment options, oftentimes uh, what we find is that we are able to do timely management, um, still not um, short shrift patients of, of interventions or treatments that don't involve anything with spine surgery. And, uh, and allow patients to really be tailored in their treatment. So, and then the folks who are having critical illness and critical neurologic deficits, we're able to flag and really follow carefully and make sure that we are providing up-to-date and informed treatment and, and appropriate treatment. Um, and if someone were to have changes, neurologic symptoms, we, we can certainly uh, address that in a timely manner. Thank you, Dr. Erica.